try. Every day we pick a side, we then have to cross many of them out. That happened yesterday when the great checker uh, gave us this very late notice that, oh, that's very good, Alan, but four of those people I think I'm going to take. Very good, Michael. Very good. Your, your first choice. <laughs> Mate, the war has begun. <laughs> I'd say the tricks will be coming from the other side. We play pretty standard fair, you know what I mean? We'll be playing the shape that we play. That he's, got, he's done plenty of video analysis, I'm, I'm sure, about 2 o'clock in the morning before he goes on air every morning. He's doing plenty of video analysis on us. So we've got nothing of them. And I've coached at Barbars before myself, so I know that everyone's quite loose. You know, oh, yeah, maybe, whatever. And then as the game gets closer and you start to get in the dressing room, it's Kick all about touch. winning, mate. It's <laughs> all about winning. Touch. Let's beat these guys, do <laughs> whatever true. you can. I'm not going to die in the ditch about it, but we have an obligation to the players when we're bringing them from all over the world to make sure that they understand we're, we're fair dinkum. And they, I've written to all of them, and they know that. Uh, there has been a tradition in the past where, you know, the Barbarians is a bit of a holiday and you come together at the end and there's plenty to drink and so on. Uh, that would be do, doing a disservice to the tradition of the Barbarians and also to the people who are coming through the turnstiles. We don't want any Nick Kyrgios playing for us here. I mean, the, pub, the public expect us to be there, to be fit, to be ready to play and to go for 80 minutes. And they all know that that's my expectation and that'll happen. I'm telling you, this mob are going to go close to knocking the All Blacks off. Make no mistake about that. The great thing they've had, they've had a couple of wins in a row, they now believe they can win. And as the World Cup experience demonstrates, I think the All Blacks are always terrified that something might go amiss when you're playing the Wallabies. Then after that, there's a second chance, of course, to have the public support in this city and I hope we'll get, you know, we we'll hope we can play the kind of rugby that they will enjoy. That's our responsibility, and Michael will respond accordingly, I'm sure. And I just like to think it, we're on the rugby's on the way back. We're putting all the bad headlines out of the way.